Hi right, guys, uh, today I'm going to talk about the 4-pin relay. The 4-pin relay uh, actually is an electronic on-off switch which using one circuit to turn on and off the second circuit. There are two types of 4-pin uh, relay uh, you can normally buy on the, in the market. One is the normal open type, just like this one, and the other one is the normal closed type. The normal open type is when you don't energize the first circuit, you don't power the first circuit, the second circuit is always open. So it's not until you, you power up the first circuit, then the second circuit will complete. The pin will pull down and con connect it. Uh, the normal close type is normally, uh, even if you don't, if you don't power the, the first circuit, the second circuit is always connected. And when you energize the, the first circuit, the second circuit will disconnect it. That is the normal closed type. But we are going to talk about only the normal open type here. So you can see here, there are four pins. So 85, 86 pin is the electronic uh, magnet here. And then pin 30 and 87 is the, uh, the second circuit, which uh, used to feed power to the uh, device that you want you want you want, uh, you want to use so if you put power to 85 then comes out from 86 to negative then the magnet will pull the connector down from the second circuit and complete the surface second circuit then you have power going from pin 30 to 87 to complete the circuit to give power to the device that you're using and uh, one thing you have to note though the electronic magnet is non-directional in power, so it doesn't matter which pin you fit power to the magnet. You can fit power from pin 85 or fit power from pin 86. So if, if you fit power uh, to 85, then the 86 will connect to negative. And if you uh, put power to 86, then 85 will connect to the negative. So it's vice versa. And then the second circuit is just a connector, so it's a switch. So it really doesn't matter which way it goes to the device, uh, which way is the power coming in. But normally we, we use the pin 80, uh, sorry, pin 30 to, to be the main power source. So you fit the main power source to pin 30, and then uh, to the pin 87 goes to the device that uses the power. So without energize, the first circuit, the second circuit is open, no power going to the device that you are using. So until you, you can use um, uh, uh, some of the power, like your, your, your low beam, your side light, your meter light, or whatever power that energizes the first circuit, then it will give power to the second circuit that we may use on LED light, or uh, a set of fresh light, or some other light that you want to use. So now we talk about the pin. I hope you can see the number at the back here. Let me try again. So you can see here. Can we see here? Let me flip it around. Okay. Now we can see here. This is pin 30. This is pin 87. And then 85 here. And 86 on this side. Okay. 86. 85, 86 and then 80, uh, 30 and 87. So if you look at it this way, it's two vertical pin and one horizontal pin. The top uh, vertical pin is the pin 30 and then the bottom is 87. And then the left and right vertical pin is either 85 or 86. So quite easy to remember. Now I'm gonna talk about how to test the uh, four pin relay before you're using it. So make sure they're working. Uh, quite easily by fitting power to the relay then you will know the relay is working or not okay let's focus again first come on here we go now 85 86 so this is the two pin i'm going to connect there you go this is the positive power i'm using a lithium uh, battery here to check uh, to use for, for the purpose this is the positive and the black is negative so Fit power to the 86, 
and then touch the negative to the 85. You hear that? That's the clicking. That means the relay is working. Uh, as I said, the electronic magnet has no uh, direction, non-directional, so I can fit the power on 85 here again and touch the 86. Okay, or put the power to 86 and touch 85, negative. Okay, so when you hear the clicking sound when apply power to the first circuit 85 and 86, that means the, the relay is working, no problem at all. Okay, and uh, I'm going to talk about next is once you connect the connector to the relay, and then you still have to do a test to make sure the connection on the connector is, you know, successful. Sometimes you check the relay is working, and then uh, once you plug in the connector, and then uh, finally what you put on, uh, 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 you, you, you finish all the connection, and then find out the system's not working. But you, then you, what do you assume? You assume the relay is not working or what? So sometimes you have to check the connector to make sure they're working too. Now after finishing the connector, you can look easily here. Like what I said, three vertical pins on one negative here. So one, two, three vertical and one horizontal. And the top uh, vertical is pin 30, bottom horizontal pin, pin 87. So 86, 85, okay? Pretty easy to remember again. So if you want to test the connection on the relay, you can simply just apply the power to the connector and see you can hear any clicking sound. Okay. Blocking the camera, okay? Like this. So this makes sure these two wire and the connectors are good, okay? But how about these two? So now I'm not sure the, the connector on this two is, uh, you know, uh, have a good connection or not. So I'm going to set up a light and then uh, we'll test the connector with the light. So in, in order to have enough power going to the light and then to the relay, I need to make a, a split on the split wire so we can again separate the wire from the negative to two outlet and then uh, a split for the positive so I could separate the wire from the red wire so I can have two, two positive outlet here so I can energize the the relay and the light together just like you have on the bike you don't you don't really have two batteries on the bike right so you have one battery that goes through the, your fuel spot or whatever and then uh, you have the outlet from different sources, you know, from different circuit. So I'm gonna connect the 86, that's the electronic magnet, to the positive here. And then put the uh, pin 30, which is the power source, goes to the, the light that go through the relay, like this through the relay so this two goes through the positive of the battery and then outlet of this pin 87 will go through the positive of the light the positive of the light goes here and now I can connect negative of the light to the battery the negative of the light to the battery. At this moment, the light will not light up because the relay is not energized. Not until I put pin 85 here, in, in this case, to the negative to complete the, the circuits of the first, uh, complete the first circuit on the relay, then we'll energize the the second circuit so to make the light comes on 
Okay, here we go. See? Take out the negative of the first circuit. The light won't come on. And you can hear the clicking sound too. So with the lights on, you know, uh, all the connection on the connector is good. So it's so all plug in, all connected, without uh, not, nothing loose. So this test finished, you know the relay is working and the connector is working. Okay, I hope the explanation is good enough. And uh, uh, I'll show you guys some more video later on. Thank you for watching.